Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Valorant running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U and the Ryzen 5 5600U. Now I recently got in a system with the 5600U, it's actually the HP Pavilion Aero 13, and the performance that you're seeing here is with both set to the stock 15 watt TDP. Now the performance that you're seeing here is noticeably different, though not nothing world changing. And really the reason I decided to start off the testing with Valorant is because I feel like it's probably going to be one of those games that's going to show the biggest difference between these two chips because i suspect that we're probably not going to be seeing much difference in a lot of heavier games than this so in that scenario pretty much we run into a situation where you'll see here that the biggest winners are the one percent lows you'll see that with the 5600u we're not really dipping below 60 almost ever while with the 5500u we are dipping down below that to nothing that i I would consider to be detrimental or bad but it is going to be a slightly smoother experience with the 5600u really though you'd have to be using an external 144 hertz monitor to really actually benefit from the performance difference here but also with both of these the performance is good enough that you can actually justify getting a monitor to play with these especially the 5600u because it's really making a very solid case that you're not going to go below 60 the entire experience is going to be pretty much at 144 hertz so you might as well get the monitor and get that full experience and the game is running at the lowest possible settings with the textures set to medium that's pretty much my preferred settings for playing the game but really overall the differences here are noticeable and they're a nice improvement but nothing groundbreaking it's not really a huge generational improvement or anything like that it's just a nice little spec bomb and when the 5625 you actually ends up filling out the lower end of the product stack and actually starts to hit some budget systems it's going to be an attractive system though i'm very curious to see how budget are we actually going to be getting with this or if the 5500u is actually going to have an entire other year of relevancy just because it's actually hitting those budget price points but i'm messing around right now with the arrow 13 and honestly i'm just very happy and impressed with how it's performing though there is one thing that has been a little odd and i'm trying to look into more information before i go full deep dive into it but let me show you what happens when i actually set the tdp of it through the apu tuning utility to 25 watts similar to what happens when i set it with the 5500u now here you'll see the 5500U set with the 25 watt TDP and the 5600U also set with the 25 TDP in the exact same utility. And you'll see that the HP Pavilion 15 is maintaining that TDP pretty much rock solid. The deviation is pretty much in just about 0.3 watts. So it's really nothing noticeable. While when we look at the 5600U, it's fluctuating all over the place. It's dropping down to 15, jumping up to 25 and it's all over the place and it's mostly maintaining itself at lower numbers and you'll also see that with both games the gpu clock speed does go down relatively low but it really doesn't seem to affect the performance that we're getting out of it and i suspect the cpu is what's actually being utilized more here but overall what you're seeing is that even though the tdp thing is not really working properly on the 5600u it's not giving us a locked TDP the same way that we're getting on the 5500U, we're still getting better performance. And I think that that's at least significant because of the fact that that's pretty much telling you that the 5600U, even in this GIMP state where it's not giving us a rock solid performance number, at least in terms of the TDP, I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's just not reporting properly in MSI Afterburner, or it could even be that the HP Pavilion Aero 13 just cannot deliver that level of performance and that would surprise me because i mean it's a small system but it's not that tiny and if you look at the temperatures we're reaching we're not reaching high temperatures this shouldn't be any thermal throttling like it's odd that this is something that's occurring you know and really that's one of the downsides of having such a small sample size you know just having the one unit if i had let's say another model laptop that had the exact same chip i could at least see if this is something that is specific to the hp pavilion 13 or if it's some 
something that is specific to the 5600U in general, and it might just be how Zen 3 behaves compared to Zen 2 APUs. But either way, I mean, the levels of performance difference that we're getting out of this are noticeable. I mean, the 1% lows in particular get a nice uplift. The averages are solidly higher, though that's really not anything that you're like gaining any noticeable improvement on as much as just those 1% lows, because that's really just letting you know that you're going to have as close to a smooth experience as humanly possible, especially for the built-in screens for these laptops. Again, neither one is going to be a bad experience, but the 5600U at least is a reasonable upgrade, at least for this type of game, over the 5500U that as a replacement for it in the price range, it's not terrible, but again, not a generational improvement. I'm going to keep messing around and trying to see what is up with the power in terms of the Aero 13. Again, it might just not be a system that's able to deliver that kind of wattage consistently. If so, that's tragic, but I'll just compare the two at 15 watts because realistically, a lot of these systems are actually coming with these set to 15 watts and a lot of people don't actually tweak any of that. So really what would be the most reasonable thing to show you is actually 15 watts. And from now on, what I'm going to be doing is when I'm showing videos for the 5500U, I'm going to show you it at stock and at 25 watts. And I'm talking about the individual videos for it. But anyways, I hope you appreciate this first look into the comparison between the 5500U and 5600U on this channel. This is one that I'm excited about because of course the 5600U is essentially just replacing the 5500U with the refreshed version, which is just the 5625U. It is the exact same chip, just with a brand new name. And this is interesting because you can find some very solid deals for laptops that actually have the older chip. But I'll catch you in the next comparison.